Uh, welcome to the Sewing Report. I'm Jennifer Moore, helping you discover your love of sewing. I hate having to do this all over again. Anyways, um, when you see this, hopefully I will uh, be, hopefully I will be um, editing that first part out. But anyways, welcome. This hour we're going to be talking about sewing machines, vintage versus modern. Yeah, so sorry about that. What happened was, yeah, so the software updated and it threw off the settings. So the microphone was in there, but it was like putting on the default microphone. So sorry about that, guys. Anyways, uh, sorry I couldn't be with you last week. I was uh, hanging out with some family members. Uh, we did have a good time, but I am sick yet again. Um, so that was great. Um, but let me throw off the poll question from last week to show you the results. Anyways, yeah, we're. I feel like we're starting from scratch, but, you know, whatever. Anyways, hopefully too many of you didn't tune out. Um, so la in the last show, I asked, how would you write your sewing skill level? And I was kind of surprised by the results. Um, most of you said you were intermediate uh, sewists. So 46% or 30 said intermediate, 35% or 23 said beginner, 13% or 9 of you said advanced, and 4% said you consider yourselves a sewing professional. I threw in the answer Curious Lurker just to see if anyone was maybe watching but didn't sew, but, uh, you know, hey, you know, that's okay too. Anyways, if you want to participate in this week's poll question, you certainly can. Up in your right-hand corner of your screen, you will see an I click on it and you'll see some other recommended videos and you'll see this week's poll question. Anyways, hopefully by if by the time you're watching this, if you're watching the replay, um, I'll have edited that first part out so you won't even see it. But uh, thank you for joining me. We do this every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern time. We talk everything sewing. And I thought it would be interesting just to chat about your preference for vintage or, mo or modern sewing machines. They obviously have very different um, features and benefits and also just the styles of how they were made, the materials. And I know a lot of us have both vintage and modern sewing machines. I've got both, and I'm very glad I do. Um, but some people have a preference, so I thought it would be interesting just to talk about what we like, you know, what we don't like about certain sewing machines, and just kind of get a gauge of what everybody is into. Um, all right, Empress Noel so wanted to smash the curious lurker. I don't know. I like the word lurker. I don't know why. Um... But anyways, yeah. So, okay, and Doherty, yes, I did repeat. I did repeat everything, so hopefully everyone's cool. Sorry about the sound. Oh, my gosh, this is... That's the thing. So, you are you know how you're, you're on your computer and it asks you to, like, update stuff? And then you feel like you have to update things, and then it messes everything up. So, my settings were cool, and then when I, um, you know, when I, I don't know, somehow when I, like, um, updated it, it did not bring in the microphone. Like, it didn't recognize the microphone. So that kind of sucks. <coughs> Excuse me. And I also wanted to ask you guys, I'll throw up the chat window right now. I also wanted to ask you guys, um, what do you guys think of the quality of this webcam? This webcam is pretty old. It's about, like, five or six years old. If it bothers you, I was thinking about trying to upgrade it a little bit. But I'm not sure. If it doesn't bother you, I won't. Um, but if a lot of people are like, yeah, Jen, you know, let's move into 2018, uh, then I will definitely consider it. But let me know what you think, because I uh, I do just kind of want to know where where you're at with that. Um, but I just want to know, you know, what you think. Anyways, um, I will show you my sewing machines, um, so a couple of them. So the first machine I bought more like when I first like got into this whole thing was I bought this machine off of eBay. It's a Singer 2012. And it was this dude, I actually went to pick it up and uh, I went to pick it up and he had like a house full of sewing machines. So clearly he buys sewing machines, he refurbishes them and then he resells them. He also threw in that sewing table for free, which was cool and gave me some like accessories and stuff like that. Um, I think, I don't know what it was about this one, but I think because it was an antique, it was so nice. I was kind of afraid and intimidated to use it. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's because I was afraid of breaking it. Although now that I know more about sewing machines, I know that these things are pretty much indestructible. Uh, you can do a lot to them. It's super heavy. This has got to be like 25, 30, I don't know, like 25 pounds maybe. It's really, really heavy. And, uh, it, it, you know, and it can be uh, it can be fixed. So, okay. All right. And thank you guys. Okay, everyone seems to think the web camera is okay. So I'm going to keep going with what I've got then. So... But anyway, so this was the first machine I got, and I finally learned to use it after, like, having it for six months. My husband figured out how to use it, and then he showed me how. Um, there, This is a great machine for lots of reasons. The stitching is fantastic, 
and the quality like i don't know it just runs very smoothly and i didn't from what i didn't know about vintage machines is that back in the day when they were new they were super expensive to the people buying them like so it was like buying a car you know you really had to a lot most people had to buy them on credit um but they were also using them as like a like a business or you know as kind of a necessary household um appliance basically because you made everything so this machine is great for a lot of reasons um, but I also have some other sewing machines, and I'll show you those. Um, so I've got two two of the machines I've got. I've got an Eversewn Sparrow 25, um, and I've also got a Janome 7700. These are both great for other reasons as well. Um, you know, they've got a lot of features on it. Um, they are computerized, although that can be a, be a negative because, you know, there's more things that can break. And, uh, you know, with the vintage machines, you know, they're simpler and they might be easier to fix. So when the, like if the, you know, computer part goes wrong in these machines, you know, I don't know. Um, you know, I've had these for a couple years, both good machines, both work well. Um, although the stitching on the, the singer does seem a little more hardcore, especially for handling bulkier stuff, I guess. So that's what I do like about these. You know, there's there's obviously benefits, there's advantages and disadvantages with everything. So, you know, that that's what it is. But uh anyways, I am a uh, I'm a fan of all of them. I also have a sale like a more industrial sale right. But for some reason that machine and I are not jiving, so um I know I've been asked to do some like reviews on it. Someday I'm going to get around to it, but like I don't know, there's just not enough time in the day. And I just want to do projects versus trying to figure that out. So I don't know. Anyways, um, so let's read some of your comments. Okay. And by the way, thank you guys for the feedback on the web camera. Then I will keep the same one. I have also been using these, uh, the camera to do some video, this webcam to do some video interviews for my other channels. And I also did one for this channel that I'm going to be posting. So I'm pretty excited about that. But, you know, I mean, it, it seems okay. You know, it's it's 720p. It's not 1080 Um but, you know, hey, if nobody, if you guys don't care, then I don't really care either. I just want to be here, even if my microphone is not always working. Um, okay, so let's see here. Empress Noel, it's fine. Buy fabric instead. Oh, geez. You guys are too much. All right. Um, Jeannie, I got the cover stitch machine because you showed it. Love it. Oh, that is awesome. I'm so glad you like it. Okay, Christian David is here. Are you a dude? Wow. All right, we got a dude in here. I have a vintage Frister and Rossman. It's the only thing I own that can sew denim. Let's see here. Rachel likes her modern machine. Tension and pressure foot issues using old machines. I love my new Bernina. I so, so wonderful using it. I do wish I had better luck with older machines. And I do think that's one thing. When I first started sewing, I'd read a bunch of blogs that you should get a vintage machine just because they're workhorses and they'll be, you know, you know, great to use. And they are great to use. But I think also, I think for some, if you're new to sewing, I think they can be a little like less. I think the modern machines in some ways can be easier to use when you're just starting out and you don't really know what you're doing. All right. Uh, some Christian says some vintage sewing machines have one fault. It's the feed dog. It's too small and narrow. All right. Good. Good feedback. And uh, they cannot grip fabric on vintage machines. All right. You say conquer this. I know I need to I need to actually start using it one of these days. I just had some, I had a bit of a frustrating experience. Like I was looking, it comes with a DVD and I was looking at the DVD and um, I don't know, I felt like the DVD didn't, didn't really show me how to do the bobbin properly. So like my, I, it was just real jacked up and I couldn't get it to work. Um, so I don't know. All right, Howard's here too. Another gentleman, I have that singer as well as the Janome 7700. Both terrific machines, but for different reasons. And uh, Terry says, I'm looking for a sewing-only machine. Do you think the price difference between the Eversone 25 and 30 is worth it? Terry, I think if you quilt, I do think the 30 might be worth um, trying out. I think the, I believe it does have a slightly larger throat space, and it comes with the extension table, which is very cool. So I think if you do a lot of quilting, I do think that machine has some benefits that you might like. From what I can tell, I've got the 25. The throat space is pretty small. Uh, let me look it up real quick. Um, let's see. I, I want to say the Eversone 30 might have some benefits for quilters. <coughs> and I'm not sure if the throat space is bigger, but it kind of looks like it might be bigger. Let me just see. Um, I know it has more stitches. Let's see here. 
But yeah, I do think it coming with the I do think it coming with the extension table might be worth your time, worth your worth the extra money. Uh, Kathleen from Rainy Atlanta. Welcome, welcome. And Jamie says, I am learning to sew on a non-computerized machine, saving money to upgrade to computerized. Suggestions for good workhorse computerized under 1000 You know, that's a good one, Jamie. If you guys have any suggestions for Jamie, let, uh, let me know. Um, I do think the Ever Sewn line is a good budget, definitely a good budget-friendly line of sewing machines. I think the brothers have several good models under $1,000. Um, if you don't, if you don't need a computerized machine, but want a workhorse, I've heard a lot of people talking great about the Jukies. So those, yeah. So Jeannie says Jukies. I think those are good too. So I think anything, <coughs> any of those, I think under a thousand dollars, you might be happy with. I also think it depends on what you're sewing. If you're doing a lot of quilting, you might want to consider a machine with a larger throat space. If you're not doing quilting, don't worry about it. And Vic says, uh, antique machines can be hit or miss. I love that my S3 makes sewing quicker and easier and that the scissor button saves thread, but there's something nice about older ones. And yeah, I do like every once in a while, and I haven't sewn on the Singer 2012 in quite some time. So I do feel like, uh, you know, I, I tend to gravitate more towards the new machines. I don't know, just because I think they are easier. And I think especially to, like there's less steps to stuff. Uh, like there's the one step buttonhole foot. So it's just, I don't know, there's just a lot about it that I think just makes it a little little more convenient, I guess. All right, Howard's got a good one. The Bernina 1008. Okay, lots of good recommendations here, guys. If you are watching this on the replay, make sure to be reading these comments in here. They're good. It's good. There's some good stuff in here. So thank you guys for weighing in. And uh, let me just move this a little bit. I'm going to move this and then I'm going to try to make the chat window a, like a little bit bigger so people can see it a little bit better. But I do think, yeah, definitely if you guys are in the market for sewing machines, um, turn to each other for recommendations. I always think it's good to ask other people what they think of stuff. So, okay, and Terry says she's torn between a Janome and an Eversown. You know, Terry, I don't think you can go wrong with either one of them. I've used both. I think they're both decent machines, especially for the price. All right. And uh, Christian, Victoria, it's about the fabric. And if the machine can sew it, some machines old and new can be bad. Christian, thank you for being here. And thanks for telling me to ignore the DVD. So, um, but yeah. So anyways, we're just hanging out this Sunday. And yes, yeah, sorry about the, the microphone problems. You know, and that's the thing, like, I didn't have the chat window right, both of the times this happened, I didn't have the chat window up right away, so, like, I didn't know I didn't have any audio, and I didn't see my mixer, um, but I really need to pay attention to that more, but I'm sorry, guys, I'm, I'm feeling sick, and, uh, yeah, I don't know, I've been kind of out of it the last few days, so, it's, life has been interesting for sure, so if you can't tell by my voice, things are not going super, super good today. But uh, anyways, okay, so Bur Doherty also likes the Bernina 1008. Let me see if I can find a picture of it. <coughs> and if so, I'll bring one up. Bernina 1008. Uh, okay, this one's a little, okay, it's a definitely a little bit, a little bit pricier, it looks like. So your budget, let's see here. This one looks like it see how much this is okay this one retails it's it's retails for about $16.99 um so definitely this is not for this is definitely a machine you might have to save up for um but we've gotten a few recommendations so might be a good uh all right here we go Bernina 1008 this is it right on the Bernina website all right you guys seem to like it. Okay, and it is not computerized. So again, there's less that can go wrong on it or break. All right, Doherty and uh, I think Howard, had was it Howard that recommended it? So thank you guys for the recommendations. So this is it. All right, let's take a look at it. It's got 17 stitches, variable stitch length and width. I mean, maybe you guys can find one of these used or, you know, like as a, like a floor model at one of your sewing machine stores. So if you can do that, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, it is in yeah, it is a little bit pricey, but you know, again, sometimes I paid more than that for my sewing machine. 
This one does look pretty cool. <coughs> and you guys seem pretty happy with it, so that's awesome. So, all right, let's go to some more comments. Yeah, so I've been lots of people weighing in on sewing machines. Okay, Victoria, my mom is an old Kenmore that is beefy and heavy and well-made, but there's limited stitches and it's a bit finicky on the tension. Keep in mind, many antique ones have had many owners. And uh, my father-in-law remembers when his dad bought his mom a singer like Jen's, and he said he bought it secondhand for her, and they still have it. Yay! Okay, Terry, you have the 1250D brother and love it for embroidery, but want to set up a computerized for sewing only get well soon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Howard, thank you for the advice. Howard says if you shop around, you can get the Bernina 1008 for $900. And I have a question. So with the Bernina models, do they call it 1008, 1008, 1008? What's the typical way of saying this? I'm not even sure. And uh, Valerie has a recommendation, the Brother 6000 CSI or anything close to that or a bro bro Brother Project Runway. Amazing workhorses with many features. And, uh, okay, Christian also has a, he recommends the Bernina, Vintage Bernina 600. Yay! Um, okay, Jamie, I heard that Janome has the best computer parts. Anyone have a comment on that? You know, Jamie, I, uh, you know, I don't know about the Janome computer. Mine has been working pretty well. I've had it for about three years. Um, I've taken it in for service once. Don't kill me. Um, it's just, I don't know, I'm lazy, I guess. And I haven't had anything go wrong with it. I took it in for service, but it, there wasn't anything going on with it. I just was like, hey, I guess I should take this in. I do clean out the bobbin case, uh, pretty well. Um, and Doherty says, I would not buy a singer today. I've heard hit or miss things with the newer singers. Um, the more popular singers definitely seem to be the heavy duty machines. Uh, they seem to have pretty good ratings on Amazon. I'm curious to try it out for myself. I haven't just because um, buying a sewing machine, even like an inexpensive one, is still a pretty large expense for me. Um, but I would like to try other ones out. I think that would be great to do here on the channel, maybe someday. And uh, Victoria got a <coughs> Janome Skyline S3 and uh, Terry if you're looking that might be a good one for you um, because again that would be good for that's a computerized machine it's got a lot of bells and whistles and it is about a thousand dollars Zoe's here you've got a singer 221 301 1590 and 1591 wow you how many sewing machines do you have Zoe I also have newer Janomis and Berninas and Fofs. My fave is Bernina 1130 from the 80s. All right, let's look up the Bernina 1130. I'm just curious. And now I'm just kind of Googling stuff and, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing right now, guys. I'm just, I'm just here. Um, okay, so I found one on eBay. Okay, well, here's some photos. Okay, so this is what it looks like if you guys <coughs> want to take a look. That's interesting. Okay, so it's a pretty cool. All right, so this one's on sale. It's for, wow, $1,000. These must be pretty in demand. Um, okay, that's what it looks like. Yeah, it kind of looks like that uh, that other one we were just looking at. It kind of looks like, I mean, it's obviously not exactly the same, but not computerized, kind of simple machine. Very cool. Here's some more. Here's one for uh, $600. Okay. I don't even know if this one works. Let's see here. So this is what the 1130 looks like. They are on eBay, so that's pretty cool. I like the 80s vibe. I do really like the 80s vibe. It kind of looks like those old computers or like your old like stereos from the 80s. That's kind of neat. Well, thank you guys for sharing that. All right, let's see what everyone else is saying. Okay. Lots of comments, and Empress Noelle likes her $129 Project One Way Runway Brother. All right. Uh, Brittany has a singer talent. The throat space is small, and I would not have bought it for myself. It was a gift. Hey, you know, you can't look a gift horse in the mouth, right? Uh, Victoria, I've n only ever heard of one person to have an issue with a genome, but I don't know that person personally. <laughs> nice. And, uh... Howard, you can call the Bernina whatever you like. Just get one. We'll never forget the regret the purchase. It's my best friend. Aw. And you know what, Howard? The the sewing machine will not ever like talk back to you or do anything, so that's cool. Hey, I don't I don't blame you, man. I do not blame you. Alright, Doherty really likes the Janome 6500 and has not been to service except for me doing it. 
And she says in Denmark, you can buy Singer sewing machines in supermarkets. All right, we've got Christmas lolly. I would be careful with computerized machines. The cheaper end of the market tend to be all plastic and are classed as disposable machines as service centers can't or don't repair them. You know, I've heard that too, and I've heard them referred to as like throwaway machines by people who worked at sewing machine dealers. Um, you know, it's just something to keep in mind. If you don't, you, I would say if you don't use the machine that often or, you know, like or if you're just starting, you don't know if you like it. it you know, it may just be good just to get sort of an entry-level one just to try out. But I would be careful too about going too lower end because they might not, it might not be a very good machine to sew with. Um, okay, here we go. Let's see. She has a Singer Quantum Touch Janome MC9900, a Brother Compel Sovereign, and a Burnett Chicago 7. I love how everyone in here is like a bunch of sewing machines. I don't feel so like bad now. Um, <coughs> that's awesome. Green Mist, sorry this is not about sewing machines, but I just want to ask to cut out patterns on fabric. Uh, which is easier to use, a pair of, uh, I'm assuming you use scissors or a rotary cutter? You know, Green Mist, I've been using rotary a rotary cutter a lot, and it's been helpful. Um, so I like using a rotary cutter. You obviously can use scissors. Um, you know, and I think it depends on what your pattern shape is. If it's like mostly straight lines or like slight curves, I think a rotary cutter would be really easy. It also depends on what fabric you're using too. All right, let's see here. Um, Victoria says her mom has a 65, a Janome 6500. Okay, and Zoe, she has 15 sewing machines. Repair them, donate some, sell some. The Bernina 1130s lights blink like a computer. All right, now I'm super curious to see one of these in person. That's pretty neat. I really... Thank you for sharing that. I really, that's a pretty cool looking machine. I like how even on eBay, like 30 years later, they're going for like 600 to a thousand dollars. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, there seems to be quite a few of these things too. Um, and I've also heard good things about the Bernina Record 830. I've heard good things about those machines. All right, Marie is here. I have an, a Husqvarna Husqvarna Emerald 183 and currently trying to decide on something that has a deeper throat. Uh, the dealer is recommending Brother NQ1300 PRW. I love how the Brother machines have like super long letter and number names. I think that's kind of funny. Um, you know, I don't personally know much about the machine. If you do, feel free to weigh in. Um, I, I, I've had Brothers. I've had pretty decent luck with them. Um, Although, for quilting, I have been using a Janome, and I like it. I like the Accu, AccuFeed foot on it. Um, if you use a lot of walking foot type stuff, I think, you know, I've had pretty good luck with that. And I know Vic just got the Janome Skyline. I think the Janome Skyline series looks pretty promising as well. All right, Doherty, first time. Zoe C., first time someone has more machines than me. I have seven. All right. All right, me with my, like, five, I feel pretty darn good right now. So thank you guys for the, uh, <coughs> for not making me feel like a, like a hoarder. Um, wow. And, you know, I think that's cool, Zoe, that you're able to give some of these sewing machines new life and maybe help, I think, probably directly and indirectly, you're helping people get into sewing. So that's super awesome. I wish I knew more about, like, sewing maintenance and sewing repairs. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um. All right, Zoe says there's also a 1030 and a 1230. Wow, lots of sewing machines. And, like, I don't know anything about really, like, maintain, like repairing or refurbishing sewing machines, but I think that would be a neat hobby. Um, that'd be pretty cool. Sorry, guys, I'm, like, I think I might have to go kind of soon. I just, I'm feeling kind of weird. Um, but let's talk sewing machines for a little bit. And, uh, you know, okay, so I want to ask, what do you like about vintage sewing machines? And what do you like about modern sewing machines? Like what, you know, what what do you see the difference, the different benefits to each one? And if you haven't answered already, do you have, what do you have in your own sewing room? Do you have vintage machines? Do you have modern machines or a mix of both? Um, I've got both. Um, I know I've talked about it in the past, but, uh, you know, and it seems like a lot of people do so I feel like that's something that's pretty common um <clears throat> oh my gosh Howard Howard you might have the most sewing machines so far Howard has 27 
Okay, if anyone has any more any more sewing machines than 27, feel free to chime in. Um, that might be a good poll question. How many sewing machines do you have? So Howard has 27 machines, just donated eight to a senior facility for their quilting classes. And Howard, do you also like refurbish them and like repair them and restore sewing machines? I think that's pretty cool. All right, Christian says, I feel Bernina is very expensive. I think too high for what I can do on fabric. You know, and yeah, Berninas, the, the price point can be a little bit higher. Um, that's why I think the Eversone is a good um, happy medium. It's developed by the Bernina people, but it's at a much lower price point. So if you are looking for, if you are looking into burning machines, I would definitely look into the Eversone line because it's like Bernina's, more entry-level collection so okay Jeannie says I love the ease of use in modern machines and the strength of vintage I think that's a good way to put it um, Isa Keeper designs vintage machines are easy to maintain okay that's a good one and uh, oh Isa Keeper you have at least 30 okay can someone top Isa Keeper with at least 30 sewing machines I cannot believe someone actually has 30 sewing machines wow you guys are pretty hardcore I thought I had too many at five, but apparently this, that, I'm like, you know, I'm not even in the game here. Wow, my collection is over four years. <coughs> That's incredible. And Isa Keeper, what kind of machines do you have? That is, that is pretty cool. I cannot believe you have over 30 sewing machines. You know, and I, um, a while back I was talking to a guy um, from like Florida and he collected sewing machines and vacuum cleaners and he did reviews of both on his YouTube channel I thought it was pretty cool Howard's here I do as much refurbishing work as I can cleaning oiling greasing and adding new outside wiring Zoe I like the vintage for, I like vintage for the sound smells speed strength and stitch quality good way to put it good way Vic says, I have two mo two modern machines. I love the smooth operation of the modern ones. I like that the vintage ones are simple and sturdy. Ice Keeper with the over 30, 30 sewing machines, all kinds. Okay, good answer there. Good answer. <coughs> Thank you for sharing that. She's got Bernina, Elna, White, and Rick Ricard. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right at all. Uh, Zoe, they're cheaper and have a nice quality also. Okay, so a lot of you guys seem pretty into the vintage machines. I do need to use mine again more. I haven't busted it out a lot. I really need to do that. All right. Uh, Ice Keeper Design says singer and brother a lot. All right. <coughs> wow, sorry. My, um, my throat's getting a little plugged up. I'm still here, though. I got my water. And I'm sorry, the prom. I don't have the prom mug this week because it's... It's dirty and I haven't been feeling very, I haven't been feeling very up to doing the dishes. Uh, so the sink's a little bit messy right now. But yeah, guys, if you're just joining in, I'm Jennifer Moore with The Sewing Report. Um, we do this every Sunday. We have a live show. So if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to the channel to get notified about new videos and our live stream every Sunday. And guys, if you're watching the replay, definitely check out the comments because there's been a lot of great thoughts about vintage and modern sewing machines. People have been giving you recommendations. You guys are awesome and sharing what you like about each one. So if you're watching this for the first time, feel free to, to definitely do that. And uh, guys, I'm, I'm trying to think of a topic for next week. If you guys have any ideas, um, I think people really like talking about sewing machines. Uh, maybe we can do more with that. All right, uh, Maggie, my primary sewing machine is an Elna from the 70s. My serger is a modern brother SB 3734T, but my favorite is vintage, a vintage Husqvarna Viking in beautiful ruby red. Ooh, that needs to be serviced. And thank you for joining us, Maggie. I know you've been pretty active in commenting and on Instagram, so I'm really glad you could be here. Christmas lolly, I, only, I can only sew at night, so I like how modern, how quiet the modern machines are. That's a good point. Uh, yeah, some of them can be a bit noisy. And does anyone have an industrial machine here? Um, I've heard really good things about the Juki Industrials. <coughs> and I think for what they are, they're pretty, they're actually pretty reasonably priced. They're under $1,000 and they come with that big table. I'm kind of curious about that one. Shelly's here. I have four embroidery machines, two sew-only machines, and two sergers. 
One embroidery machine was given to me and one soul only machine was a door prize I won. Very neat. Doherty has a Husqvarna sewing machine and a serger. Okay, great, great. And, um, all right. And Zoe's, uh, okay, Zoe says uh, she feels the, uh, oh, she also wants to say Bernina recently put out a new line of Burnett machines. I have seen those. I think they're pretty cool too. So I think it's really good that Bernina's trying to um, bring down some of the machines in price. They're trying to offer things to people who are more just getting into it versus someone who is in the place where they want to buy an expensive sewing machine. Uh. <coughs> but yeah, if you guys have a suggestion for next week's topic, please let me know. I would love to consider it um, because I don't know. I'm just, sometimes I think of these topics, uh, you know, and I'm like, yeah, that would be a great one. And then other times it's Saturday night and I'm still trying to think about what we can talk about. Um, sometimes it's harder than others, other times. Uh, but if you guys have something that you really want to talk about, that we can have a discussion here, definitely feel free to weigh in. All right. All right. We're starting to talk about the industrials. Howard, you have all kinds of machines. I have a Yamada industrial straight and zigzag. All right. Uh, Terry, you've got a lot of them too. 900 Janome cover stitch. Wow. God, you've got all kinds of stuff. A Janome serger that I hate to thread. Zoe has a good question. What models of industrials do you guys like? That's a good question, I think. Because I, I would be interested someday. If I have enough room and, like, if I was doing a ton of sewing, I think that would be cool to have one. But probably not at this point in my sewing journey. <clears throat> okay, Vic's idea for sewing show is how about talking about our current projects? That's a good one. Empress Noel, I'd I'd love to have an industrial machine. Not sure where to start as far as manufacturers. Uh, Terry, pattern hacking to save money. That's a good one. I like that topic. And I apologize, guys. I am I'm kind of out of it this week. I, I yet again. I know there has been like probably eight shows where I've been sick. So um, I don't know why I keep getting sick, but I, it just keeps happening. You can also reuse that topic every six months. Oh, that's a funny one. All right, Brittany has a good idea. We could talk about the difference between fabric from Joanne, Hobby Lobby, and quilt shops. Uh, Rachel, tips for making your own clothes. That's a good one. Um, Valerie, there's a guy who calls himself Fred Sanford of Sewing Machines. He has every vintage sewing and part for you can think of. Wow, he sounds really... He must have a lot of storage in his house. Like, that's what I... That's another thing I want to know is... Like, if you got, like, 30 sewing machines, you must have some some pretty major space, I imagine. Someone named Nard here. I have a Husqvarna number one. Bought new over 30 years ago. Was the machine of its day. Just replaced my vintage Viking serger with the baby lock ovation. Suppose I am vintage too. Oh, we're all a little bit vintage, right? All right, Vic. Sewing without patterns or making your own patterns. You know, Vic, if I knew more about that sort of thing, I would totally be down for that. Um, have curves. We'll sew sewing processes. That's a good idea. Um, I have an old PE 190 that embroiders well. Too bad I can't get any more patterns for it. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh. <coughs> well, guys, I think I might. All right. Would love to hear Vet Sewer's thoughts on garment constructions. That might be a good thing. Maybe like sharing our best um, garment sewing tips or hacks. That might be a good one. I will definitely keep these things abide. Guys, I think I might sign off soon. I'm uh, starting to feel a little little under the weather. Uh, but thank you very much for the sewing recommendations. And I apologize again for the audio problems for like the third week in, in a row. Um, hopefully I can get it together, right, guys? All right. And where to get high-quality cheap fabrics in Canada, U.S., and other countries? That's a good question. Zoe, you know, and I did a fabric haul last week about Fabric Wholesale Direct. And I was really blown away by the prices and also by how decent the fabric was. So um, if you haven't watched that video, definitely check it out. Um, also, I did one about fabric, fashion, fa uh, fashion fabrics. Uh, what's it called? I think I might be getting it wrong. Why can't I think today? Fashionfabricsclub.com. And that's another good one. They, um, I, had a pre I had pretty good success shopping there and the prices were really good. So I think that would be a good one. Uh, Christian, I have a poor quality vintage sewing machine Husqvarna Classica 100 from the 1980s. 
fantastic in design, but parts were mostly plastic on the inside. It has a nice stitch. <coughs> Thank you, guys. And I'm going to try to edit out that first part. <coughs> when you see this <coughs> online, I will see. Sorry to be such a buzzkill. <coughs> I'll see you guys all next week. And yes, I'm, I'm starting not to be able to talk. So I'm going to see you guys next week. But I definitely think I will use one of these suggestions for the topic. So guys, have a great sewing Sunday. And I will see you guys all next Sunday.